In this video, we're going to have a look at how we use algebra. Algebra is the part of mathematics in which letters or symbols are used to represent numbers. In English, a noun is a word to describe an object, person or place, and a pronoun is a word that can take the place of a noun. In maths, symbols to represent numbers are called numerals. So a pronumeral is a symbol um, to take the place of a numeral. Pronumerals are usually lower case letters, so such as X, Y, A, M, but they can use any letters. And they can represent numbers that can be counted or measured. The numbers can vary, so they're often also called variables. Algebra follows the same rules as for number. Let's take the simple sum 6 plus 6 plus 6. In number, we know that we can rewrite this problem as a multiplication of 3 times 6. Similarly, in algebra, if the number is unknown, for instance, let's use the letter x representing an unknown number, plus x plus x, we could rewrite it as 3 times x. In algebra, it does get confusing that we use x's for pronumerals and time signs, so we omit the time signs. So 3 times x would be written as 3x. Let's try another one. In number, we would know that we could rewrite 4 times 4 times 4 using index notation as 4 to the power of 3. Similarly, in algebra, if the letters are known, say it's y times y, times y, we could rewrite as y to the power of 3. We can translate words into algebraic ex expressions. Algebraic expressions are sentences or statements, including algebra. Let's let m equal the number of matchsticks in a cup. The picture I here now draw with three cups containing an unknown number of matchsticks in each plus four extra matchsticks can be written as three times m plus four. But since we omit the time sign in algebra, we would rewrite it as three m plus 4. This represents the total number of matchsticks I've drawn in the problem. We can also take sentences and turn them into expressions, such as the sum of a number n, representing the number that's unknown, and 5. We could rewrite that as an algebraic expression as n plus 5, recognising that sum means plus. Let's try another one. 8 less than twice a number. So 8 less than twice a number. Well, twice a number can be represented as 2 times n or 2n, and we need 8 less than that value. So 2n take away 8.